Isidorus, an American humorist and best-ring author, spent, spent three months in Japan and wrote about some of his experiences in diary home. Today, I would like to share about some of his observations with you. January 7. A Japanese woman we met in Paris came to the apartment yesterday and spent several hours exploring our appliances. The microwave, the water kettle, the electric pasta, everything brings and breathes and calls out in the middle of the night. I wonder what the light maker is carrying on about, and Lego told us that it was on the timer and simply wanted us to know that it was present and ready for duty. That was a cool story as well, why the town was just being offensive and waking us up for no reason. January 9th. In the grocery section of safe department store, I saw a whole chicken plastic equivalent of forty-four dollars. This seemed excessive until I went to another department store and see and saw fourteen strawberries for forty-two dollars. They are pretty big, but still, forty-two dollars? You could almost buy a chicken for that. January sorry first. Given the state of my Japanese, it seems unfair to criticize some of the English I've been seeing. Aside, outside the beauty parlor lead, I wash tent. And instead of rapping, I should give him credit for at least coming close. What get me are the mass produced mistakes, the ones made up Boston, for example. A huge nationwide chain of convenience stores. And this is what put on the wrappers of their ready-made sandwiches. We have sandwiches which you can enjoy different tastes, so you can find your favorite one from our sandwiches. We hope you can choose the best one for yourself. It's not that hungry off the mark, but still, you'll think that someone, maybe someone in management, might say, I've got a cousin who lives in America. What do you say I give him a call and land to spy him before we start throwing tens of millions of rappers? But no. February 15. It is now official. There is no place on earth where you will not find a Peruvian band. Leaving Tamati Station last night, I had a familiar sound of Simon and Gold Funkos and Kondo Pasta. Up the escalator, and there they were, five many ponchos blowing a pipe of pen into Coder's microphones. Didn't I just see you in Dublin? I wanted to ask. Oh, no way. Maybe it was Hong Kong, Oxford, Malern, Budapest, Toronto, Super South Dakota? March 11, Hiroshima. A book read in the hotel room includes a section on safety, awkwardly titled Best Knowledge of Disaster and Damage Prevention and Favor to Ask of You. What follows three paragraphs, each written beneath and separate, both faced heading. When you check in the hotel room, when you find a fire, and my favorite, when you are engulfed in flames. Thank you.